Yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now, today we have, we got Trey Songz on the Rona and the Trumpster. The baby almost getting the paws put on him. Cardi B hurt, Offset relieving some pressure. Drake making wishes come true. And Kim on Kanye's Rona. Hey, yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. If this is your first time to the channel, come on in, grab a seat. No, not that one. Those are for the members. That one over there, though, you can sit on that. You see what I'm saying? Sit back, relax. Yo, you're going to get a little something from us. Then you could be on your way. If you're back for more insanity, you know us a bit too well. Yo, thumbs up button is waiting for your support. So show them some love. Notification bell is on the side waiting for a tap too. So go on and touch it. Yo, shout out to Mario Williams, Sugarfoot, Sweet Toe, and Rat Dusty putting their reasoning skills on display in the comment section concerning that Rick Ross Louis Vuitton fiasco. Yo, makes me love the community we got. Respect. Frankie B and Sherry Viola, we appreciate your support, much love and respect. We trying to get something together for y'all. Oh, and lastly, shout out to Fly Quan who showed up to the debates and got two minutes uninterrupted. That's right. He dropped in to let us know whose side he favors and what he really thinks about Mike Pence's thoughts on the Breonna Taylor verdict. Somebody asked me my opinion on the debate tonight, and it's simple. It's just like the lady that you see in the mall or in the grocery store or in the airport, and all she keeps saying, Tyler, no, Tyler. Now, not only did Fly Quan have something to say, but Lil Yachty chimed in as well on Twitter, stating, quote, F that B Ninja Mike Pence, close quote, not very stealthy, but still sunk the ship. Yo, Ebro came through and said, quote, there are Jewish, white, whatchamacallits. There are Jewish, whatchamacallits. Close quote. Not sure what that had to do with the debate, but New York is going through a little bit of turmoil right now due to new COVID-19 restrictions where Orthodox Jewish and religious leaders tripped on the governor who will close non-essential businesses and schools and limit the number of people able to attend houses of worship. They are setting things ablaze over there in the communities and tripping. I can't understand why they would damage their own communities. you like, celeb, behave. Don't do that. O okay, okay, my bad. A chance the rapper came through and stated, the mother effing fly done died, <laughs> close quote. Referring to the fly who sat on your boy Pence's head for two minutes and made himself at home. The two chains had this to say, take a look. Wait, wait, wait. This nigga got a fly on his head. He's a whole piece of shit. <laughs> and if you think that's crazy, your boy Plies came through and said the following. Take a listen. Somebody asked me my opinion on the debate tonight. And it's simple. It's just like the lady that you see in the mall or in the grocery store or in the airport. And all she keeps saying, Tyler. No, Tyler. That's, that's not, right. Not it was quite a moment. Yo, if you're still undecided and need a little bit of help, I'm sure someone asked the most high before the debate for a sign and he sent a fly into a closed room during a fall debate at night to show you the bullish. I mean, no one's perfect, right? But would you rather a lot of bullish or a little? Now, next up, step into the mic. Now, first on deck is Trey Songz, who has a very important message for those of y'all that heard the president try to downplay the virus like it's nothing serious to be concerned about. Yo, take a listen. Here with a very important message to let you know that I tested positive for COVID-19. Taking many tests as I've been out protesting, food drives. Of course, I have a very young son at home, so... Uh, get tested periodically. Straight into the point. Your, your boy is doing a juggling act with the people of the United States and isn't the least bit concerned, but wants to show himself some type of a great leader. Yo, great leaders don't sacrifice people for the sake of their ego. <laughs> Where you live, Wisconsin, you got over 1,000 deaths. Congratulations. Now, serious enough for you? How about Michigan? That's over 7,000 deaths. You like celeb. It ain't serious enough. You got to come harder than that for me to be concerned. Okay, okay. Florida. 14,000. Over, over. 14,000 deaths. You still trying to hit that vacation spot? You like over 14,000? Man, that ain't scary. Cali. Right? 
You, you got well over 16,000 deaths. You're like, well, what about Georgia and New York? Yeah, 7,000 and over 32,000. But at Ringland Brothers and White House and Bailey Circus, they fretting like, oh, it's not much of a concern. While they pump red nose with the steroid dexa, dexamethasone and some other medicinal cocktails that you won't be getting if you get sick. Anyway, yo, let me continue on before I get upset. You like, man, you ain't there already? Nah, 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 nah not yet. Okay? Apparently, folks love juggling and prefer for it to never end. The baby has had quite a few instances where he was accused of putting the paws on all types of people. Right? It's a story that tends to surround your boy for some strange reason, and I can't seem to understand why. Now, the baby was shocked and scared when someone, his nephew, namely, was ready to put the paws on him for a change. Yo, take a look. The two toes. Do it again. Oh, 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 my bad, my bad, my bad. My bad, guys. Happy birthday. Just and your nephew was about to set it on the baby And if you grab him up He gonna set it on you too Especially when he's admiring his ride And yo, fall back If you think you just gonna grab little homie Just any old kind of way Now Cardi B Was doing who knows what When she caught a foot injury Yo, take a look Yeah, I don't know this But I got a fucking sprained ankle I don't know if I wrapped it right today But whatever my point is that it's like I still can't walk right. My foot really hurts today. I woke up swollen. Now with the injury like that, right? Cardi may have to pull back from making moves with culture for a bit, but no worries. Offset has come through showing that the two have the co-parenting skills on deck respect. Your boy Offset didn't skip a beat and took some time out to relaxingly, if that's a word, do a bit of painting with culture. Yo, take a look. Oh. You gonna switch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to wipe the teardrop from your eye that you claim is the wind, but is a result of the pulling of your heartstrings from such a tender moment. Reminds me of the fact that when these entertainers drop music and videos and performances they're at work and human moments like these they're not at work imagine a customer from your job seeing you in front of your home and treating you like you are still at work you're like but when am i supposed to know when the entertainment stops and the real life starts for these entertainers well damn i mean i don't know <laughs> you know what i'm saying I, I guess i never thought of that i mean where you come up with these questions now, Cardi has also posted an image, right, of herself in a red devil latex outfit with two long horns and the caption, single, bad, and rich. I do the controlling, close quote. Now, you know the interwebs is petty. So social media came for Cardi talking about Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> right, right. Because the top secret society that moves in the shadows behind the curtains and everyone knows about has been confirmed with this picture on Instagram. Come on. Now, although it's supposed to be a, a, a secret society that elementary school kids know about, Cardi decided that she was going to respond to that top comment. And she says, quote, stop with the Illuminati ish. It was just costumes for a TikTok video. Damn. Close quote. Cardi, why? You, you think your denial will set the conspiracy theorists straight? I mean, come on. DJ Khaled took a moment to invite us into his family life and captured a serene drive under the palm trees with his main man riding shotgun. Yo, take a look. I mean, hold on, boy. <laughs> High five. And beautiful stuff, man. You know, we, we got to give it to you. You know what I'm saying? You deserve as much of a comprehensive view of these celebrities as possible. And I, we here at Celeb Source, love 
to make sure that you get it. You know what I'm saying? They're just like you, except they can entertain their behinds off. And you, you know, I mean, you like me. We just, we just sometimes, we, we, we say hit and miss with us. You see what I'm saying? Now, if you're waiting on a stimulus package, these cats in Congress are playing around so much, you're better off waiting for 50 to hit your job or Drake to get on a track with you. Your boy said he was waiting till after the election, holding your money hostage before changing again and saying he gonna help airlines, small businesses, and if he sent a standalone bill, you. You're like, what you say about Drake and the stimulus? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a human stimulus package. If you get on a track with him, you're gonna make your money back. So go on and put the house up. You see what I'm saying? My boy Drake got news that there was a young man, 14 years old, in the hospital putting up the good fight. And Drake sent this. Take a look. Salik, what's up? Um, <laughs> uh, my brother Mustafa hit me the other day and informed me of the extremely tough situation that you're fighting through. And uh, we both thought it would be a, a great thing if I got to... Um, See, this is why Drake is up. See what I'm saying? Stuff like this. Respect and salute. You can't see me now, right? But your boy Celeb is giving Drake a standing salute because that is the stuff that warms my heart. And finally, you're like, damn, why didn't you end it right there? Because I'm not that kind of guy. You see what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. These celebs are insane. Right? I mean, maybe not Drake, but a lot of these celebs are insane. Kim Kardashian, as you know, Kanye had the coronavirus. Your boy was sick and the lovely Kim Kardashian had to take care of your boy. And I'm looking at the picture in front of me, right? And I'm like, did she take a selfie with Kanye sick in the bed with the Rona? Did I see that? I mean, maybe the image is from a long time ago, way before, you know, uh, pre-corona, perhaps. I hope it's not an image of him with the Rona sitting in the background while she's taking this selfie of herself, looking all fine and whatnot, whatever. Kanye was taken care of by Kim Kardashian. I know you wouldn't have thought that. You would have thought like maybe it was a couple of maids or whatever. No, it was her, apparently. Now she stated, quote, Kanye had it way at the beginning when nobody really knew what was going on. It was so scary and unknown. I had my foot and I guess it wasn't really that like um, I, I guess it was somewhat scary, but it's not as scary as when, you know, 211,000 people have died. You see what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's a sickness, but you don't know how it's going to ravage the country yet. W whatever. Let me go. Kanye had it way at the beginning when nobody really knew what was going on. It was scary and unknown. I had my four babies and no one else in the house to help. Word? I had to go on and change Kanye's sheets and help him get out of bed when he wasn't feeling good. It was a challenge because it was so unknown. Changing his sheets with gloves and a face shield was really a scary time. I'm the type of person that respects the process, that respects what's going on in the world. Maybe our planet needed a break. Maybe we all needed a break. Maybe it was, this was the reset. I try to look at it that way. Close quote. You know what, Kim? Because I know you're listening. I think a lot of people really tried to look at it that way. Like, yo, you know what? Maybe we just all needed to, you know, in the United States, we all needed to just stay home from work, stop with the run running around, and just have a hard reset. Family got closer, and then online school started, and you had to teach your own bad kids, and you know how that played out. Yo, let us know what you think. The Illuminati, is it the Bilderberg thing? And and Drake, the stimulus package, is it possible, right, that no one in Congress get paid until the people whose money is being held hostage get taken care of first? I mean, can we make that a reality? Whoever has the connections that just so happens to be listening to Celeb Source, I know. I mean, I know some of you big wigs and stuff like that. You, the, you CEOs are listening, and you got your little comments, you know, listed as some vague rare name with no subscribers i mean you, you know what i'm saying I, I bet you congress would come to an agreement fast if we held their money up it would be kind of disgusting actually you let us know what you think be sure to like be sure to subscribe yo thanks for tuning in to celeb source your source for celeb news